Welcome to this Mot Plus video. Today, we're going over Mot Plus Classic, our standalone desktop app that helps you design incredible prototypes. When you first come into Mot Plus Classic, either choose a new project or open an existing project. Press New Project and choose the project type and orientation. You can choose to create a phone, tablet, web, desktop, whiteboard, or custom project. Then choose a page size and press Create to start your personal project. You can also create a collaboration project to work with your colleagues. On the top, there is the top navbar with important tools. And on the right hand side of that navbar, you'll find options to share your project, create a scannable QR code for a fast preview, and in the middle, Press the play button for a preview on your device, or press Cloud Sync to sync online. At the bottom navbar, you can view the project name, page name, and the zoom level. At the top of the left hand side, you can find the project tree, showing all project pages and their hierarchical relations. Below the pages, you can find the built-in component and icon libraries, along with favorite and master libraries. In components, there are hundreds of components for you ready to use. In icons, you can find thousands of icons ready to drag and drop onto your designs in a whole range of icon categories. In My Libraries, you can see all of your saved and subscribed assets. Then you see your master library, which holds your master icons and components. When no component is selected, you'll see the page style panel on the right hand side. When a component is selected, the property panel is displayed on the right hand side by default. In the bottom right, all layers of the current page are found in the outline panel in order. In the top left, you have the navigation menu where you can find all of the app and project options. Right click a component. By using the right click menu, you'll speed up your design process. In the top right, apart from the property panel, you can press onto interactions and page links panels. In Page Links, you can also customize triggers and transitions for page jumping. Now let's see how you can create interactions on Mot Plus. Take a tab bar as an example, drag and drop it onto the artboard. Double click to edit its text. On the right hand side, you can customize the component in the property panel. All details are covered, such as the component style, color, the border, the style of the selected items and more.
To make these components interactive, there are link points here to customize. Choose where or what you want that tab to be linked to for your prototype to have an interaction. Once you've chosen where or what your interactive node will be linked to, a pop-up will appear with triggers for on-click, on-long-click and on-load, with the commands for each trigger. Here, let's see what show hide can do. Let's link the intermediate tab to the image, then choose on click and show hide in the pop-up. Now we have an interaction for when we select intermediate in the tab bar. Now let's look at how we can share projects. In the top right, click share and a pop-up window will appear, notifying you that your project has been published at the link shown to you. From here, you can view project, change the share settings, notify a team member, copy the URL, or reset the URL if you want to revoke access to any members. Go into settings and you can protect your project with a password. Press on reset URL and a new URL will appear. Copy the URL for faster sharing. Enter the URL in the browser and now you will see you need to enter a password before being able to view the project. Enter the password and your project is now visible. Here's an app we made earlier. You can also share your app with a view code. Download the Mopla Classic app and install it on your phone. And then enter your code and your project will quickly load. Now you can use and test your app as if it were the real thing, with real interactions and animations between pages. Click the M logo in the bottom right to see all the pages in the project, so you can quickly jump between pages. Finally, you can also scan the QR code for faster sharing. In the Mopplus Classic app on your phone, scan the code with your camera and your project will load up in the browser. Now let's see how to add collaborators into a project. On the opening screen in Mopplus Classic, choose Collaboration Project and then choose New Project. Again, choose your artboard size, preset and orientation, or choose from an existing template. Design your part and sync the project to the cloud. And find the collaborators icon in the top left. To make anyone a collaborator, type in their email and press enter or plus. Again, you can also open a collaboration project created by you or others by pressing Open Project on the opening screen. Now let's see how you and your team can get editing permissions to collaborate on a project. Next to all the pages, you can see a green light, which means you are editing this page. And then there's a red light, meaning a team member is editing this page. And then you have a dark gray icon, indicating nobody is editing this page. 
you can click on the icon to get the editing permission. For example, you can freely drag a component onto a page with a green icon. But if you want to drag a component onto a page with a red or a dark gray icon, you have to ask to get editing permission first. Remember to sync these pages after you finish, so the changes will be synced to all other team members. Click on the share menu and you can enter any of your team members email addresses to notify any of your team members. These members will then get an email with the link attached to your project to view on the web or the mobile app. Thank you for watching this getting started video for Motplus Classic. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more design tips, Motplus tutorials and update videos.